with Alex O'Neill. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to the city of Derby. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Derby County and they face Burton Albion. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities. It needs an accurate cross and a no-nonsense clearance. Sibley. It might be on for them. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's OK shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. And here's how it looks for Derby County. Now, this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Lawrence. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. Can they convert? That will give them quite the lift. An early opening goal lead. Well, you always want to start quickly, and there's a, certainly a quick start there. What a finish. Well, Derek, this is why coaches tell you to stop the cross from coming in. But they didn't get tight enough and were punished for it. 1-0 then. Knight. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Can they get in behind them? Dangerous looking attack. Not all that convincing defensively. Whitaker and breaking at pace with Menace. And the counter-attack came to nothing. Clear foul play and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, a really big transfer story that merits colossal coverage. Harry Kane has completed his move to PSG. Well, Derek, an estimated fee of... From so far away, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though. Well, it surprised everybody, including me. Long-range effort, and it wasn't too far off, was it? to keep it but couldn't Edwards an attack full of promise and attempting the through ball simple catch really failed to keep hold of it say this looks promising genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion but haven't been able to do so and a throw in it's going to be has a go 
He's gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. A reminder that the reserves are in action tomorrow. If you'd like more ticket details, have a look at the club website or contact Simply. the office for more information. Lawrence. It's opening up for them. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Fruitful looking attack. Wonderful block. The visitors are struggling with possession really, but on the break they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. And they've won possession again. And that was a very fine read. Extremely sloppy in possession. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Well, great read there to intercept. Important interception. Getting forward. Knight. Sibley. Knight. Crossing possibilities, not to be in terms of the cross there, goal kick coming up. Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack league. Well, there can be space found out there, we've seen that, but he just can't seem to free himself from the defenders right now. His team need him to find something if they're going to turn this around. Might really be able to trouble them here. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Hutchinson, Edwards. That's a lovely ball. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Oh, my goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Whitaker. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Possession changes hands, the interception there. The one thing he does know how to do is shield the ball. Couldn't hang on to it. The first half here comes to an end. to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins oh stylish ball what can they do now crossing possibilities it's been aimed towards the front post and a goal to increase their advantage to turn the ball and a little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration well, here's the replay, the keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough, it's back into play. He was first to react, and it's in the back of the net. It's going their way, 2-0. Burton Albion, number 29, Jamie Murphy. And a shocking pass, really. And very deftly cut out. 
the hosts have really controlled possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Good technique displayed. He must finish! And it's gone in! Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Blistering shot. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Just looking ahead to another game coming up for you from the Championship, live on EA TV. It's Derby County. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level. Well, my initial opinion was to blame the goalkeeper, but here we get a better angle of it. Absolutely nothing it can do. A huge deflection. Keeper, no chance. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. And a glut of goals, two apiece. Edwards. Hutchinson. Well, they get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. It's with Lawrence. Malone. Knight. Whitaker. Delightful pass. It has to be. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build up and an easy finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Number 23, Dwayne Holmes! Straight down the throat of the opposition. did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Fraser. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Fed over towards the back post. Holmes. Base on the flank. Crossing possibilities. Can he make it count? And it's come off the keeper. Given away. That's a lovely ball. Well, that's very smart defending and now they have the ball again well let's come down to the final 20 minutes here the delivery and he's clear his lines run to manoeuvre on the wing teammates in the middle and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick well when he's in this sort of mood he's absolutely unstoppable what a performance well here's the replay you have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match it's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick So the current scoreline, 4-2. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. It is to be a throw-in.
Buxton. Quinn. Well, the pass not finding its target. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Fraser. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. And that was a very fine read. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Now, this might pay dividends. But he took care of it defensively. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Played into the centre of the box. Well, not quite. And providing width. Low driven ball. It comes to absolutely nothing. Couldn't hang on to it. An important interception. It's with Lawrence. Individual quality coming to the fore. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Malone. Holmes. And they are on the move again. Knight. He's taken on his opponent here. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And that's it, the final whistle. And the hosts will go through. Well, sometimes, Derek, you learn more about your own team after a narrow win like that rather than thrashing a team. Good team effort, that. The coach will be pleased. Can they convert? That will give them quite the lift. An early opening... be named towards the front first and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration good technique displayed he must finish and it's gone in Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level. Whitaker. Delightful pass. It has to be. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Teammates in the middle. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable. What a performance.
Time for a few quick questions. No further questions, thanks. Welcome to you, to the Riverside Stadium. Alan Smith is sitting alongside me, Martin Tyler. Our action today comes from the Championship in England, Middlesbrough against Derby County. I think if we get a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. George Friend plays with Ryan Shotton as the wide defenders. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Here's Roberts, Johnny Housen. He could take them on here. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. This is the Derby County lineup. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, 
in front of them. They've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. This team that are at home today have been firing blanks for most of the season and they need to get some ammunition going, don't they? Well, surely in training they'd have been having a bit of shooting practice, more than a bit, because they've been missing the target far too many times. Oh, well saved! Wayne Rooney here to take the corner. Corner is a short one this time. Tries the shot. Well, the referees decided to give the penalty and it's a chance now to take the lead. Well, could be a vital decision this one and looking at it, I think he was correcting it. Was it a penalty for you, Alan? There's been no booking. It's not a, a savage offence. No, it was one of those 50-50 decisions. The ref only gets one look, doesn't he? And uh, he had to make the call. troubles from the spot but uh, he looked confident there the goal wherever you look at it it was very well taken so the first goal it's 1-0 goal for Derby County number 10 Wayne Rooney Fry Roberts good clean tackle Knight Andre Wisdom now Rooney going forward with real purpose now it's Rooney that's going to run on through to the goalkeeper Rooney, Lawrence, Low, a chance to play it into the centre now, Lawrence, here's Rooney, he's had a bang at goal and uh, I must say credit for that but nowhere near. Yeah, poor effort really for a player with his ability. Daniel Ayala, Ryan Shotton, Johnny Housen. Strange game at the moment, the attacking team having all the ball but not really making many chances because the opposition are defending in numbers. Fry. Excellent tackle and the result is a throw. George Friend. Attacking now. They obviously believe that they can find this equaliser by passing their way through the opposition. Knight. Low. And it's Knight. Goal news from Charlton. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. 29 minutes played. 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan... Wayne Rooney! Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Clark. Now Rooney. That's 
got him out of a tight area with that back heel. Benteke! Oh, he's failed to hit the target. Johnny Housen. Alan McAnally is our man at the KCOM Stadium today. Alan, we're hearing there's been a goal. It's a second goal for Fulham. 33 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. And the keeper kicks it away. Roberts. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. And in the shot, go! Not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. Now he's got the ball, what's he going to do with it? Here's Walcott. One or two options now, in forward areas for them. Well, the cross doesn't get past the first man. With the details of a goal at the Stoke City Stadium, it's Alan McAnally. Threads it through. a shot well off the mark I don't know if they can turn this around their creative players have not been at the party really today not been able to create the chances they normally do and it's night Rooney Christian Benteke marvellous tackle He's given it away. The fourth official has well, indicated still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Here's Walcott. Now Wisdom. A good run towards the near post. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems and certainly not the goalkeeper. Well, it is half-time now, and you can hear what the fans are thinking about. Time now for the second half to start. Theo Walcott. Penteke. It's Rooney. Well, they pressed well to win the ball back. Here's Rooney. Wayne Rooney still going strong and still going quick here. There's danger if he gets his shot away. Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that bit of closing down by his defender. Coming up on EA Sports, coverage of the EFL Championship fixture. Next up for Middlesbrough, they'll be facing Fulham away from home. Yeah. Shots on here. Comfortable for the keeper. So what about Derby County's next game? Yeah, they're playing Hull City, aren't they, in the next match in the Championship. I think they could coast home in this one. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. Good defending, no problem in the end. Low. Some goal news for you, and it comes from the Brentford game. This Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Queen's Park Rangers. 56 minutes played, 1-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Lawrence they spread it out wide here chance to get some width into this attack 
Now, can he take them on? Now Rooney. Well, it was the final ball to set up the chance, and it would have been, but for the interception. Well, they have deep resources financially, Paris Saint-Germain, as this deal shows. Yeah, well, they've had to put the money in the pockets, uh, about 50 million quid, which um, I don't think that's an outrageous figure for somebody of his quality. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this should know better than doing this here and it's going to be a, a throw here he's looking for the cross he's got the ball under control and it's in for the goal well he's only been on the pitch a matter of minutes I'm not sure he's touched the ball before this but a vital touch there to score well top marks for resilience they've had to Absorb an awful lot of pressure, but sprung out, and what a good goal that was. It is uh, level, both sides have scored here now. Here's Walcott. Penteke, looking to create an opening. Well, it looked a bad miss. I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. Well, you do worry when your team's not creating chances, but as you can see, they certainly have done today. For the manager, he'll just be concerned that they're not finding the back of the net with these opportunities. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. Must take the lead here. Goalkeeper can only... Parry it out. Knight. Holmes. Whitaker. That's some noise in this stadium at the moment. They are really expecting, demanding a goal in these uh, last minutes. And they've spread it out wide here. Steered through. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. He's got out there quickly and stopped the ball coming in. Really important reading for the danger there by the defender. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. I think the cross is on. Well, they kept up the pressure, didn't they? But it's finally been stopped now. Morrison. Fry. The build-up is patient. Hit it hard, but not very true. Alan McAnally is our man at the KCOM Stadium today. Alan, we're hearing there's been a goal. It's a third goal for Fulham. 79 minutes played. 3-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. We're looking for a couple of killer passes here from the attacking team against defenders that are really earning their money. Can put them in front here. And he's done it at a crucial late stage of the game. Yeah, he's a big match player, this fella. And he's just proved it there been a very good game this and now they've got the goal that puts them ahead and here is another angle on that goal and how will Middlesbrough cope now they're trailing goal for the countdown is on we're into nine minutes now now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting Time is ticking away here, and they haven't got too much of it left to deal in. The fans, though, 
racking up the atmosphere. Yeah, just important now that they don't launch long balls forward, that they keep their patience and try and fashion an opening. Morrison. A chance to whip it in here. That's safely away. Can he clear his lines now? Holmes. Three minutes left of the 90-minute match. Going forward with real purpose now. That did look a decent attack until the interception. Well, you can't knock these fans. They're doing everything possible to get behind their team here. Trying to get the crossing. Well blocked by the defender. Well, they've got the corner. Possibilities here for this equalising goal. Well, here comes the corner. It's a corner that's been wasted, really. Stopped at the near post. Well, this is where the space is at the moment on the flanks. This should wrap it up. Can't hand onto it the keeper. By the whistle. Well, that sort of win is really satisfying because they've had to give body and soul to get it. Yeah, it was a really close call, but... Uh... And Rooney scores! for the cross he's got the ball under control and it's in for the goal well he's only been on the pitch a matter of many can put them in front here and he's done it at a crucial late stage of the game yeah he's a big match player this fella and he's just proved it there
Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. And our action today comes from the Championship in England. Derby County against Hull City. Yeah, a real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Wonderful club, Fulham. But looking at the league table here, these aren't wonderful times for them. They've really found it hard since they lost their place in the Premier League. All sorts of managerial changes, changes of ownership as well. And it's rather reflecting on the field and certainly reflected in this look at the league standings. Well, I had them down as title challengers. I can't believe where they are at this stage in the season. And I just don't think they're going to recover now. This is the Derby County lineup. Craig Forsyth starts with Curtis Davis in central defence. And they just go with the one striker up front. Into the attacking third. And it's Knight. He could take them on here. He's reached it and he's caught it with a save. Brilliant. We've got the whole City team here for you. And a look at the opposing side as well. It's pretty similar, Alan, isn't it? It is. I hope we're not in, uh, in for a snore fest here when there's not going to be many chances at either end. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Wayne Rooney. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Well, it looked a chance. But it's ended rather tamely as a goal kick. It's Liverpool who've been in the transfer market and they had this target for some time and they've got their man. Well, he'll certainly be happy with it. And I think maybe the buying club will too because £40 million around that figure anyway seems uh, a reasonable price for somebody of his quality. Now there is some space in the wide area. Looking to attack it in the middle. Really important reading of the danger there by the defender. And it's Knight. Lawrence. Goal news from Alan McAnally at Loftus Road. It's a goal for Leeds United. 13 minutes played, 1 0. Shreds it through. Out in front of goal. McAnally, our man on the spot there, but we've had to break away from him. Apologies for that. It's Leeds United who scored. Confirmation of that for you. He can put them in front. He is a saviour there. Maybe he'll cross it here. No offside as the ball was played over the top. Referee has pointed for the penalty. All oh, could be a big, big moment in this match. Well, the referee has given a penalty, but he hasn't booked the offender. Well, quite often in that circumstance, you would see the yellow card produced. He might be a bit fortunate there. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, different referees take different views. And he saved it! Wayne Rooney here to take the corner. Not the best penalty, but a very good save. No, he's a master at that. He fills the goal, doesn't he? Decided to go short. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Could have done better with that counter-attack. Fair throw. Lawrence. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Eves. Return pass. Now Eves. 
Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Well, they could have been opened up there, but the interception stopped that. At the Sheffield Wednesday game for us today is Alan McAnally with news, I believe, Alan, of a goal. It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. 25 minutes played, 1-0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. The goal that would put them in front doesn't look too far away the way they're playing. Throw in now. Another throw in given. by the keeper but not decisively well they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then it was a great chance I thought but they're safe again and it's night Andre Wisdom made sure the pass wasn't completed Strong, fair challenge, pulls out for a throw though. Today Alan McAnally is at Huddersfield Town. Alan, news of a goal in that Huddersfield game. It's a second goal for Brentford. 34 minutes played, 2-0. Eagle eyes as always from Alan McAnally. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today but for me and I'm sure for the manager they're not creating enough if they are going to go and win this match which you'd expect just got to find another gear ask a few more questions of the opposition here looking for teammates in the middle but they put the squeak and he's caught that right but just off target ah, not too much wrong with the technique there Now Wisdom. And now it's with Wayne Rooney. Into the attacking third. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. We've got news of a goal from the Sheffield Wednesday match. Our reporter there is Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Sheffield Wednesday. 39 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. Here's Rooney. It's a real opening, and it will put them in front. He has cleared it well. well. Listen to the fans here. They are less than happy with that decision from the ref. They were convinced it was a penalty. Ready! Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. That's good attacking play. They've got a corner from it. And maybe a chance for a goal. Corner played into the middle. Put away, but not out of harm's way. three minutes of added time. Now Eves. Now Wisdom. Wayne Rooney. It's Rooney. That's the way to win the ball back. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Free just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start intercepted well now there is some space in the wide area Theo Walcott here's Rooney well, they were well placed until that tackle. 
Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Well, here it is. Just throwing his body into the way of the shot. He's pinched it back again. News coming in about a goal at Craven Cottage. Alan McInally. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. 50 minutes played. 1-0. And we're back here again, thanks to Alan McInally. Behind the defenders, over their heads. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Lawrence. What about Hull City's next game? They're playing Huddersfield Town in their next match in the Championship. And uh, not much at all to split the two sides for me. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Well, the goalkeeper's got there, but only just. Here's Walcott. Rooney. Whitaker. He has to clear it. Good distance to the clearance then. Low. Lawrence. A poor technique there. Eric Lehigh is booked. Is it going to be an in swinger or an out swinger? He can deliver these with both feet. Proper defending under some pressure. And it's Knight. He's gone in very fairly and won the ball cleanly. It's all happening at Fulham. News of a goal. Alan McAnally's there. It's a goal for Fulham. 59 minutes played. 1 1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. He wants to pull it back here. Now it's offside. And it looks as though they might be into. Score. And they're taking Rooney off. Knight. Lawrence. And it's Knight. Whitaker. Opening them up with a through pass. What a fine save. Alan McAnally is at West Bromwich Albion. To... Great save! And the defender able to clear it away. Well, those strikers, they won't be feeling happy because the chances have been there for them today, as you can see, but uh, haven't been able to make the most of them. But still time. Well, that's a great block. Cleared the ball. Holmes. Theo Walcott, Andre Wisdom, and it's Knight, taking on a couple of opponents now, and that's good play by the defender, because had he messed up then, it would have cost a goal I'm sure, could be a chance here for Hull to break quickly, well now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it, throw in here, 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Golden opportunity now. Well, we've had to wait for this first goal. And to be honest with you, it's come against the balance of the match to this point. But they have defended well. And now they've managed to find an attack that has found a way past a goalkeeper. Hasn't had too much to do, in truth. And they lead... By the first goal of the game, it's late in the game, it could be decisive. Coming off the pitch, Alcetti have the lead. To be replaced by number 23, Dwayne Holmes. Davis. There has been a goal at the Hawthorns. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Stoke City. 75 minutes played. 2-2. Cheers, Alan. Good defending dealt with a decent cross a well, space to get the cross in and shoots 
What a showcase of his saving ability this game is for the keeper. Oh, completely on top of his game. And he's been in really good form all season, to be fair. Now, can he cross it? Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. And the tackle there is successfully done. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. It's about finding the right pass now. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. We've got ten minutes left on the clock. But you can't knock these fans. They're doing everything possible to get behind their team here. This could bring them level. And it does! Oh, he's come to his side's rescue with that late one. That might just have earned him a draw, or maybe more. He has been a king of a keeper, really. But I'm afraid his crown has just slipped there, and they've got the better of him. Well, he looks disappointed with himself, but he shouldn't be after the saves he's made already. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Here's Wilkes. Taking on the defenders. To Scott. Oh, chance! So late in the game, and the keeper keeps it level. Well, there's still something in this for this team, thanks to the goalkeeper. And in it goes. Well, the play is broken down now. Yeah. Tries the shot. The shot is blocked. They've got a corner here with time ticking away. Corner's taken. How have they done this? They've been defending for their lives just to get a draw. They could have won it now. I think they have won it. It's that late. What a strike that was. Well, nothing wrong with the service and certainly nothing wrong with that finish. Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. There doesn't seem much of an opportunity to come back. I think that could be decisive. It's one last attack. Can they get that late equaliser? They've been pushing for it. Great interception. And the board shows three added minutes. And he bangs it away. And it's Knight. Holmes. Whitaker. game has run its course here and there's the final whistle really bad weather today really good game yeah we forgot about them Lawrence